Hi guys, welcome to Rigid Studios. I've seen this gouache everywhere and now it's with me. It's the Himi Mia gouache and it's the 18 color packet with the 30 ml um, boats and it arrived in this beautiful airtight sealed packaging that is so beautiful. So today we're going to be reviewing it and see what the hype is all about. I've literally seen this everywhere. Ian Raven Fox did it, made a video. Um, several people that I've been watching on YouTube has been uh, reviewing this. So I want to see what the hype is all about. And so here's the swatch book. We're gonna open it up and let's see what this is all about. First of all, it comes in a really, really nice packaging. This is plastic and it's very, very um, nice. And this is a little mixing pad that this comes with. And here comes the gouache. Unfortunately, the gouache is not labeled in English. So we have to do it in Japanese or Chinese. This is a Chinese brand, so yeah. I can read a little bit of it, so this I think is black and whites. These are the whites, and these are the blues, the and these are the reds and the greens. So let's check if I'm correct. Look, I'm correct. <laughs> and look at these packaging. These are beautiful. These are 30 ml. They're a lot for the price that I paid for it on Lazada. And these wells are really, really nice and sturdy. I would love to use them. So here we go. We're gonna try to open them all up and see how it looks like. It's called jelly wash just for the reason that it looks like jelly when you like jelly packaging. So here we go. Now that we've opened them all up, it's time to swatch. I am swatching currently the pink color and it's very very creamy. It's very very pretty and it's very very opaque and it dries really really mad. I love the colors of this palette and it's all useful colors to me and they're all very very vibrant and sweet and cute. I'm swatching now. I'm trying to finish up all the colors that is on the packaging so there's no wastage. You know, love Mother Earth and all that. Now I'm trying to get back at the red because it's looking a little washed out because I put a lot of water in it. This yellow, these yellows are so bright and this green is so pretty and I really really love all the colors that comes with it. It's really really worth it for its price. Plus it dries really really smooth and matte. It's not really that streaky. It's just my application that's streaky because I'm trying to do this as fast as I can. These blues are brilliant and this is the next one's my favorite, the Prussian blue, which I'll be using a lot, lot, lot. Now the black is kind of a blue black, an ivory black. Now I really want to see how opaque it is, so I used the white to cover it up, this permanent marker up, and it works. There's nothing more I can say about it. It's a really, really good palette and good for its price. Now I want you to watch me paint. Paint this little um, portrait that I did in tone paper. And I hope that it turns out well. Um, in any case, I have an announcement for you guys. I am now on Redbubble. I am now selling merch from Redbubble. My some of my prints are there: the Bad Shot Row one, the Grassy Plains, and I hope you guys support me by purchasing some prints or some 
prints and some merchandise there or just simply sharing the word and subscribe and following me it would be great for you friends for Christmas and if you guys want I'll be open up opening up commission soon I also update my website yesterday so it's now up and running and updated it's been a long 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 while since I last blogged but I'll be regularly blogging Pro on Tuesdays and Thursdays you can expect the blog up so you can so there we can expect something to read and to watch on Mondays, Wednesdays, and probably Saturdays. The gouache is holding up beautifully and it's blending really, really well. I am in love with this gouache, so it's really worth it for the price. The gouache is also um, very opaque and it takes to tone paper really good. I haven't exactly tried it on other paper except for this tone paper. But I think I will love and use this, use this more and more. I'm going to let you watch the rest of this video in peace without me babbling in your ear with my very very dry commentary um in case i will talk to you again later
Now that we're finished with this painting, well, almost finished, you can see that it dries very, very beautifully. The gouache is very dry, it's very vibrant, and it dries as expected, and it's very opaque. I really, really love how it lays down and how little it takes to get really, really beautiful results and, re and really nice um, opacity. And it really blends well. I've been working with it quite rough, but it's blending well. So if you're interested in more of my babblings, more of my paintings, you can click and subscribe and wa watch me on social media. Yeah, the links are just down below. And thanks for watching. God bless and keep on creating. Bye!